Hey everybody, welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today I'm gonna explain to you how the DMTL system works on your BMW. We're gonna go through component by component and why you might have a fault on your dashboard. And then we're gonna figure out and diagnose on my BMW X5 to see why my system has failed and I have a check engine light. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now you might be wondering what the DMTL system is and basically these four letters stand for Diagnostic Module Tank Leakage and as the name implies this basically goes and works to make sure that your fuel tank doesn't have any leaks in it whether that's from air escaping or from fuel escaping. And that's important because you don't want fuel to be escaping while you're driving. Now the DMTL system works around your fuel tank and it consists of a few different components. You're usually gonna have a couple of lines that come out of the tank and go to an expansion tank. This is where pressure is gonna be kept from the pump system. After that expansion tank, you're gonna have a charcoal canister. And while we're here, I should probably label these so you don't get mixed up. But right after the charcoal canister, it kinda of does multi-purpose. One part of it is that it'll go to your intake and it's going to vent the gas vapors. And the other end of it is going to go to your pump. The pump actually gets the air from the atmosphere. So that is your final component in the system. It's pretty simple when you look at it this way and there's only a couple of ways that it can create a fault. Number one is going to be the pump failing and that's actually a pretty common part. Luckily it's a Bosch pump and they're interchangeable between a lot of different cars. But when this fails, it doesn't create any pressure in the system and for that reason, you're going to get a 2A17 fault and that's gonna be a DMTL module fault. So that basically says that the whole system is not working. It wasn't able to start the test routine and determine if there was any leak. Now the other sort of fault you can get is a 2A15 or a 2A16 fault code. And what that says is that there might be a minor leak present in the system. So when you have a minor leak present, well, you might think that there's possibly a hole or damage to your fuel tank, but usually it's gonna be a break in one of these lines. Sometimes the purge valve, which goes right between the charcoal canister and the intake, which is supposed to hold off the pressure from this whole system. So if the purge valve is old, it could be letting gases escape through here and it would fail the test. Or you might just have a component of the pump leaking, the charcoal canister, or the expansion tank. What can also commonly happen is you might leave off your gas cap, and if you leave that off, it'll usually give you its own specific warning, but if the gas cap was old, you might have a bad seal. It's a common misdiagnosis saying, hey, just replace the gas cap for this fault, when really it's something else. But the other thing that can happen, which I've seen, is a bad fuel pump seal at the top of the fuel tank. And a bad fuel pump seal would cause, you know, like a gas smell coming into the cabin. You would definitely notice if you drive the car commonly, but that is considered a possible air leak. And so if you have a gas smell inside of your car, definitely start up here. But now we're gonna take a look at the fault on my car, which is actually this one right here. And since my car has an M54 motor, it's considered an 8F fault. So it's a minor leak and that's the fault code for it. If I had this code right here, it would show as code 142, but I don't have that one. So we're gonna focus on the entire system today because we have a minor leak present. So my theories are a possible bad purge valve or possible bad connection at the pump slash charcoal canister, which we're gonna take a look at that system momentarily. Or finally, we might have a bad gas cap. So let's go ahead now and take a look at my BMW X5. So now we're definitely gonna scan the car to find out exactly what code we have before we start. And now I already did a scan of the car earlier to show you guys what the codes were. And the one that we're focusing on, like I said, is AF tank leak diagnosis with DMTL. So that tells us that we have an extremely minor or a minor leak in the system. That could be just an open vacuum hose. So we're gonna take a look over the entire system starting at the engine bay. 
The fuel tank vent valve is located right here underneath the front corner of the intake manifold on M54 and M52 motors. So I'm just gonna quickly remove the air intake box and the lower hose. We should be able to see it, remove it, and then we're gonna try blowing through it to see if there's possibly an air leak or any damage to the surrounding hoses. So here is our purge valve or the fuel tank vent valve sometimes it's called and you'll see a black plastic line coming out of it coming out of the engine bay and actually underneath the car that is the line that goes to the system and that's a pressurized line and then this valve right here is supposed to open after the test condition has been run and vent the fuel vapors into the intake manifold so we're going to go ahead and pull this valve out and we're going to test it because it should be in a closed position and not let any air through the valve if it does let air through then we might have a possible source of our minor leak So when I blow on this valve on either end, it doesn't let any air through, so that's a really good sign. And also I have a little testing rig right here. This is a nine volt battery with a momentary switch and a connector that I cut off a junkyard car. And we can even hear the valve opening and closing with this little test rig. So we know this isn't the problem. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall it and then look at the next component. Now for some reason I skipped checking one of the easiest and most accessible components of the system and that is the gas cap. So if this thing has failed, which it might have on my car, you can see there's actually a small crack in the O-ring. If this thing has failed, then you have gas vapors that could be escaping around this seal right here and that would cause a minor leak. So actually I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind, but we're gonna go ahead and check the rest of the system because it's not usually a gas cap, although in my case, this thing does appear to be older than it should be. So let's go ahead now, we're gonna get the car in the air, pull off driver's side rear wheel and have access to the expansion tank, the charcoal canister and the DMTL pump. Now, like I said, right up here is our DMTL pump. And there's also a little air filter at the end there to make sure you don't get anything big into the pump system. But you see, it's pretty simple. There's a small harness that leads up to it. And then there's the major hose that comes down the fender liner and up to the front. And under there is going to be our charcoal canister. But while we have access to the pump here, we can actually go ahead and test it using some software on my laptop. And we'll be able to hear if this thing runs and also test the valve really quick. So first, let's go ahead and test out the pump running function and if you see here in ISTA I've got component triggering under the DME and I can go ahead and navigate to the motor of diagnostic module and then I'll go ahead and press trigger component and I hope you guys can hear that but it is definitely running right now and then we're gonna go ahead and test the valve which is the changeover valve that's located inside the DMTL pump and if it fails it can cause a fault on the system And we can also hear the valve working fine too. So I'd say that our DMTL pump works great and all the connections up here appear to be pretty well secure. So the next thing we can do is take a look over the charcoal canister up here. And then finally we'll look at the expansion tank which is on the other side of the car. So the charcoal canister is a bit of a pain to get to, but we do have access to it now. And looking over the hoses that go into it, remember one of these comes from the pump itself. And then one of these goes to the expansion tank to pressurize the fuel tank system. And the other one goes to the intake manifold where we tested that valve earlier. So we wanna make sure that all these hoses are well connected, that they're not broken, damaged, anything like that. And then we can go ahead and look at the expansion tank.
And finally, the last component in our system, the expansion tank. And this holds the excess pressure from the fuel tank and from the whole TMTL system in order to make an accurate measurement each time. And you can see that there's a multitude of hoses coming out of it here. I did inspect all of them individually. They all appear to be fine and intact, no leaks, no punctures, anything like that. But uh, there's not to say that there couldn't be a crack in the expansion tank here that we don't see. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna run a test procedure again and this is something you can do with ISTA Plus or certain BMW tools and that should inflate the system here and give us like a mock-up test and then I'm going to listen very carefully to the expansion tank, the charcoal canister and also the pump on the other side to determine if we have any leak in the system or if it's simply coming from the bad seal on my gas cap. So why don't I go ahead and do that now and if I can find anything I'll let you guys know but otherwise I hope that you guys enjoyed watching us fully tear down the DMTL system on my my X5. So I'm going to go ahead and run a service function to test the DMTL system and hopefully we can pressurize it to determine where that leak might be and if it's coming from the gas cap. It does say it can take up to 12 minutes. Let's go ahead and start. Right now it's running a reference leak so that should be an internal test in the DMTL and we can already hear the pump running right here. So it's doing a reference leak right now. It's gonna find out and test the DMTL pump itself and determine that the pump is good. And then it'll start pressurizing the system through the hose there that goes to the canister and also the fuel system. Now that didn't take very long. It's already running the test for major leak and then it'll move over to the minor leak. So that means it's currently pressurizing the system and we can start to look over and see if we've got any leaks coming from any of the hoses. Now I tried to record it, but I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is a super high pitched whistle coming from the gas cap right here. I can't hear it with the door closed, but I can hear it with it open. And it also smells like gas coming from right here. So I think that we've determined the cause of our leak. I wish I maybe wouldn't have had to take everything apart, but I hope that you guys learned something from being able to see all the components. And, and now we know mine is just a simple gas cap. When we release this right here, yeah, it didn't even let that much pressure release. So we don't have like a satisfying click from the gas cap. It's a really loose fit. And then that bad seal is causing our fault code. So I'm so glad we figured it out. So that's gonna conclude our video for today. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and hopefully learned something too about the DMTL systems on BMWs. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like or maybe a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you next time.